But first we make the things, then we have to talk about making the things. Welcome back to another work in progress update on Bocatan Barbie. As you can tell, I do most of my crafting on live stream, and I just wanted to give a huge shout out to our amazing little community that hangs out over there. This week's nonsense started by cleaning the vat on my resin printer. I was a silly goose and I started to print really quickly and I kind of forgot to add supports. Luckily it was a good chance to use the clean vat function. The tad tricky trying to find the edge of the cured block thing. I even used the spatula pack. I must be close to finishing this project because suddenly I absolutely hate some of the colors that I went with. Moving right along, I had to start dealing with attachments. I don't know why, but I always put this off to the very last part of my project. It's just so not smart. ADHD, ADHD. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I added some Velcro to the top part of my flight suit to help secure the armor, but it definitely needs a lot more structure. Since these pieces are printed with PLA and resin, the understructure needs to be a lot sturdier than what I am normally used to dealing with in EVA foam. That might be next week's problem. I used some backpack clips and one inch elastic cord to as the harness for my jetpack. Making this Barbie mashup is slowly taking over my whole identity and my community has been having brainstorming the next sort of Barbie mashup. Leave them in the comments. Who knows? Your concept might just be my next project. All right, let's fix the range binder. I first tried to use some scrap window tint to keep some of the color palette consistent and let some of the LED shine through as pink. I just ended up using a different holographic vinyl instead. My Cricut didn't really end up liking the window tint very much. I had one heck of a time closing the stem on the range binder after I soldered the connection. I knew it was going to be a tight fit with the wires I was using, but they were all I had on hand. I ended up using super glue and then UV resin to fill the gap and just squish it all together. I also whoopsied again and attached the switch to the circuit before putting it on the inside of the helmet. Even though I knew not to do that, I just went and did it anyways. The last thing I worked on this week was bo Barbie's belt. I used 2mm craft foam for the base and hacked up an athletic onesie I was originally going to use for the flight suit, and then I kind of didn't try. I took my very poorly 3D model pouch and essentially did the same thing, only I ran some of the edges through my sewing machine just for that extra bit of detail. And look how cute these are! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. They're like the cutest little part that I wasn't expecting. I'm so, so happy with them. Sometimes you just gotta trust the weird brain process. I can, I can see things that maybe aren't obvious to anybody else. I am not gonna say that, that is not 